Here are the most common signs and symptoms of insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome, also known as syndrome X. So you don't always know based on just one symptom if you have insulin resistance because there's not one blood test that will tell you. However, if you have three of the five following symptoms, and there are more, and I'm gonna show you that in my chart, this would be an indication of metabolic syndrome. So whether it's high blood sugar levels, high blood pressure, high triglycerides, in your blood work, as well as a bad profile. So more of the LDL cholesterol and less of the HDL, the better cholesterol, and abdominal obesity. So if you've got three out of the five of those that I just listed, you would have metabolic syndrome. Now there are a few more symptoms that can be related to metabolic syndrome or syndrome X as we see them here. So whether it is the browning of the folds around the neck, and this could be in the armpits. I also find when people have a lot of skin tags on their skin, this can be related to metabolic syndrome as well. We also see, of course, that central obesity, so that accumulation of that belly fat is an indicator as well. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can also be related to syndrome X. We also see other symptoms, so things like fatigue, inability to focus. Of course, in our lipid profiles, our high cholesterol levels, and like I mentioned before, the high triglycerides are related to this, and a low HDL, the better cholesterol. And of course, we also see this can affect our reproductive system, so in women, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and in men, erectile dysfunction can be related to metabolic syndrome. Some of the other common symptoms may include sort of a drunk feeling. So when you have too many carbohydrates or it spikes your blood glucose very quickly, you could feel sort of spacey and drunk-like, as well as a overt craving for carbohydrates. You just love your carbs. That can be another indication as well as headaches can be related to your blood glucose levels not being stabilized. And in terms of being pre-diabetic or diabetic, some of the initial symptoms can be frequent urination as well as muscle wasting and a lot of fatigue and lack of energy. Eventually these things can progress into more life-threatening conditions such as heart attack, stroke, nerve damage, organ damage, Alzheimer's, of course, and cancer as well. So this is something that we definitely want to be proactive about. Prevention is always better than cure and getting your blood glucose levels under control is definitely something that you can do and you can do it naturally. So check out my other videos on tips, exactly how to do that. And I'll help to guide you through. And you know, these are actionable steps that you can take to get your blood glucose levels under control. So today I talked all about some of the signs and symptoms of of metabolic syndrome, syndrome X, and having your blood glucose levels not where they should be and not in balance. I hope you've got some questions or comments for me. Please drop them in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. Everybody has a calling in life and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle and of course to do it naturally. Thanks for watching.